Hello and happy Holy Week, everyone. It is Tuesday here at the seminary, and it is kind of like the calm before the storm, as it were, of the whole intensity of Triduum. It's time for us to reflect as we near the end of our Lenten journey, and for some of the deacons, time to reflect on the even longer journey of approaching priesthood. Hello and welcome to the Deacon Year, a weekly show about the life of at least one transitional deacon preparing to become a Catholic priest. I'm Deacon Kyle. Hi, I'm Deacon Will. And I know in last week's episode I told you that my um, diocesan brother, Deacon David, should be on the show, but he couldn't make it, so I, we have Deacon Will The here. next best thing. The next best thing. <laughs> our friend here from Pittsburgh. Um, I think the last time uh, Deacon Will was on the show, he was about to be voted on for holy orders, or approval for holy orders. So what happened? So last week, or two weeks ago now, I was voted on by the faculty and they gave me a unanimous vote uh, and recommendation to the bishop to be ordained a priest uh, this coming June. Nice. So we're very excited. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And so as I mentioned, my, one of my previous episodes, I had to do the whole petition thing, handwritten and send it out. And you just did that, right? Yes, I just completed that. So just waiting for uh, my final interview with our rector, uh, which will be uh, tomorrow. Nice. Okay, yeah, so keep praying for us and special for Deacon Will as we continue this process, and hopefully he'll, he'll have a call to orders in the near future. Uh, couple weeks. Couple so, weeks, okay. Yeah. Nice. Some paperwork time and things like that. Right. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned in the intro for this episode, we are now in Holy Week, and last night, we were able to go to the Chrism Mass for the Archdiocese of Washington in the cathedral. The Chrism Mass is one of the greatest Masses of the year. It's one of my favorite Masses. Mm -hmm. It uh, brings the entire diocese together. Uh, all the priests come, uh, deacons, people from all, all the parishes throughout the diocese come. And, and at this Mass, the bishop anoints, uh, blesses all the oils and the chrism that will be used throughout the year for all the sacraments in all the parishes. As well, the priests renew their promises of priestly ordination at this Mass. Uh, right, and normally, I guess traditionally, the Chrism Mass takes place on Holy Thursday, but for logistical reasons, some dioceses move around when the Chrism Mass may be. And I know your Chrism Mass is coming up, right? So ours will be Thursday morning, uh, Holy Thursday morning at 10 a.m. in Pittsburgh at our cathedral and our bishop will presiding. I will fortunately be the uh, the deacon of the chair, so I will be uh, part of the ceremony itself. Right. And it will be an uh, exciting and very joyous occasion mm -hmm. for all of our diocese. Yes, and uh, for me on the other hand, since I'm way on the other side of the country, I've not been to Spokane's Chrism Mass for the past four years. So um, it's something that occurred to me last night as I heard the priests of the Archdiocese of Washington renewing their vows, was that the next time I'll be at a chrism mass, it'll be when I'm renewing those vows, which is kind of a cr crazy thought to think about. Uh, and so, and so thinking about, looking forward to the priesthood, uh, any highlights looking forward to? Oh, so yeah, I'm uh, now preparing for uh, the ordination itself. I'll be ordained June 27th in Pittsburgh and then uh, also preparing for my first Mass uh, the following day. Mm -hmm. uh, so very excited about that right. coming up, yes. but a lot, of, a lot of work has to go into it yet. Yeah, definitely. And likewise for me, it's, I have a binder that's being made trying to get all these different items in order. Uh, right. And then as far as ministry, ministerially, like what you're looking forward to? Um, so uh, I'm very excited to uh, hear my first confessions, um, which I will I would do right after the ordination in the afternoon. Uh, um, that's actually planned for you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's very exciting, <laughs> but also very intimidating. <laughs> right, yes, and it turns out that a lot of um, a lot of our questions among the deacons right now, um, approaching the end of the semester, is like, what happens in confession? Because, I mean, because of the sacramental seal surrounding this um, confession is that you can't kind of sit in and watch another priest do it. We could watch priests, you know, say mass and do baptisms, but confessions are an entirely right. different thing. Right. Yeah. Um, so, uh, as a little heads up, in about, I think, two week episodes from now, we'll be hopefully covering our uh, confession practicum, which will happen in two, no, next Thursday. 
Yes. Yes. Do you Next have your, Thursday. Do you have the absolution prayer down? Uh, not quite yet. Okay. I, I've heard it many times, <laughs> but I have not yet said it. <laughs> right. We'll have, we'll have to work on that. And so, but in the meantime, uh, we still have to focus on going through the final few days of Lent and then Triduum and on into the Easter season. Uh, will, where will you be for? Well, I'll, as I said, I'll be at the Chrism Mass in, in the Diocese of Pittsburgh on Holy Thursday morning. Then we, I will go to my assigned parish, St. Alexis in Wexford, about an hour north of Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. I'll be there for the uh, Mass of the Lord's Supper on Holy Thursday evening. I'll be there for the Good Friday services and also the Easter Vigil on Saturday evening. Oh, you're very busy. Yes. Nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, well, I'm sticking, still sticking around here in D.C. Uh, for the first time, I'm actually spending Triduum not at the seminary for these past four years. I'll be actually at the cathedral, uh, my, which, is, which happens to be my parish assignment. So I will be engaged in the min, whatever masses and liturgies that take place during Triduum. Whether, if I'm not doing something in English, I'm doing something in Spanish. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. And <laughs> we both have to, we're both doing the, um, the Exalted, which is this beautiful sung proclamation uh, about the significance of the Easter night, uh, Saturday night going into Easter. So we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll have to practice that. Yes, I've been practicing, but I still have a lot of practice to go. Right. It's, uh, it's a beautiful prayer uh, revolving around the light of the Easter candle, but uh, also very intimidating because there's no music accompanying it. And right. it's all chanted yes. just by the deacon. So, right. And it's about a 10 to 12 minute prayer. Yeah, so. it's, it's not small. Okay, well, I think that's it for now. We're going to just get on with Holy Week. And yes. Ho- and hopefully you have a blessed Holy Week as well. Uh, take care. And next week I hope to sh- give you a little inside look on my parish assignment and Triduum there. Okay, take care. Take care. Bye. God bless. Bye.